Hi there guys, welcome to my video. So I'm making this video kind of to hopefully help out other people out there. I bought this machine about two weeks ago and I've been having issues with my grinder. Um, I, I'm very new to, you know, espresso making, so please bear with me if I say the wrong terms and whatnot. So again, I bought this machine about two weeks ago. I already had pre-ground espresso uh, fine grinds. Um, so I hadn't used the actual grinder on this machine prior to this. So I was just putting the fine grinds into, you know, the actual tamper and the sizes that I needed. Um, so anyways, we are going to get started. I actually went out and I got some beans. And so what I did put in here was one fourth a cup of beans. I put them into the grinder. So you just lift the lid off of here and dump in your beans. Um, you want to pick the setting that has the slower extraction. I tried the other settings and this is the best grind and it also is the best press um, on the bars for when it comes to the pressure on the machine. So that is my setting that I found that it works the best. So yeah, let's get started. So it comes with um, the double shot, which is this one here. And then it comes with a single shot, so it, it's easier to, you know, to weigh out. So we're going to do a double shot, and you just sneak that on there. You slide this in here. And then um, it comes with the buttons for a single shot and a uh, double shot. Same thing here, single, double. And you can play around with the settings on how, many, how much grinds you want in for each setting, depending on how strong you want your coffee. So I already have mine preset. You can figure out the settings by reading the manual that comes with it. Otherwise, you can also find the manual online. So don't fret if you get this machine without the actual manual. So I just push the button. All right, once that's done, you pull it out. I am trying to tape this so this won't be so good so technically you're supposed to hold it with your left hand like so make sure that it's you know parallel to whatever table you're on and then you take your tamper that comes with the machine it's really heavy and you put your arm straight up into the air and you push down you're supposed to put a good amount of pressure some people choose to twist it some people don't. By twisting, I mean this at the end. And then, voila. Now you stick this in here. And you turn it. Grab a cup. I'm going to hit double. We'll watch the gauge go up here. Mine's set to pour for about 20, 21 seconds. There you go. You see that beauty go? And then the gauge goes down. Got a good amount of crema. Um, it looks like I have to make it go for a little bit longer, though. Again, I'm just testing out this machine so far. But, uh, yeah. After that, you can take your cup out. I already have my frother ready to go. I put about 100 mls in there um, make sure that when you're doing your frothing that you clean up the spout out to see if there's anything left from last time you should do it anyways when you're done you just turn the knob to the right and it will spit out a bunch of water and there's steam coming out so it's good it's clean now I'm going to turn this knob to the left Give it a few seconds and then it'll start spitting. Make sure it's spitting before you put your milk in. And obviously when I'm taping, I can't use both hands, but I like to put the um, the handle into the far left of the pitcher and just put it in about that much. A lot of people like to say that you can swish this around, but I don't see a point to it because if you're doing it right, if you got it to the pitch that you want it at, the milk actually starts going into, you know, a clockwise or counterclockwise turn. And so it's already moving the milk around. I wouldn't hold the pitcher by the handle. Always hold it from underneath. That way you can feel the coolness turn into warmth, turn into heat, like really hot milk. And then just start dropping the pitcher down um, until the tip 
is barely touching, you know, the milk at the top and it'll start making that frothy, thick milk that you like. And then obviously just pour it into your shot. Um, again, guys, I am newbie at this. I just wanted to put it out there because I know other people might have gauge problems and, you know, they might be new to the game as well. Please play around with the settings. Obviously, I'll still be playing around with mine because I want mine to be a, a double shot. This looks more like a single shot, not a double shot. So I'll be playing around with the settings to, you know, make the timer go a little bit longer or whatnot. Um, but yeah, that is the machine and I will post a final picture at the end of what my ultimate, you know, once it's milk is frothed and placed inside the cup looks like. Thank you for listening. Hopefully this helps with some uh, questions. If you have any questions uh, outside of this that I might be able to answer, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks.